everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I want to talk to you about The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. The Love Hypothesis is the book that I picked for my book of the month pick, uh, but funny story real quick, they actually sent me the wrong book. So I was super, super excited to get this in the mail. Uh, I saw a bunch of my friends who had already gotten it who read it super quickly and then I get my box and it was the wrong book. So I had to reach out to Book of the Month and tell them, hey, um, I picked The Love Hypothesis. And they actually sent it to me and told me to keep the other book. So great customer service. If you aren't a Book of the Month member, uh, you can find the link down below. Anyway, so The Love Hypothesis. Huh. This one was five stars. It was just so good. I read this book in 24 hours. I started it one morning. I finished it the next morning. It was just perfection. I loved everything about this book. It is about this girl uh, who is applying to be a PhD and she gets into this program and she accidentally <laughs> kisses the grumpy teacher, doctor, whatever you want to call him, who works in her department because she told her best friend that she was going out on a date and her best friend happened to see her at the lab that night instead of being out on the date. So this turns into a fake dating relationship with this professor uh, who, like I said before, is pretty grumpy. Fake dating is one of my favorite tropes. Oh, I love it. Enemies to lovers is one and then fake dating is another. This is this is kind of a mixture. I wouldn't call this really, really enemies to lovers because they weren't enemies, but everybody hates him and because he's a you know grumpy, angry, hard professor. And so it kind of had those vibes a little bit but it was more that like grumpy sunshine and fake dating combined together and it was just so good i mean i went to a master's program so like a lot of the things that they were talking about i really related to um you know the way they were talking about grant writing and the way they were talking about you know funding research and all this stuff like i got that so I think on a deeper level, I really related to this book. But then I found out through a friend that this book actually started out as a Kylo Ren and Rey fan fiction from the new Star Wars movies. And what's hilarious is I didn't know this until after I finished it, but as I was reading the book and she's describing him, Adam, I was picturing like an even more buff Adam Driver. And then I found that out from talking to one of my friends and I was like, go figure. I guess that makes sense that that's who I was picturing because that's who she wanted me to picture. I thought that was really fun and it made me like the book even more. Immediately after reading this, I texted a couple of my friends who love these kinds of romances or rom-coms because this one actually is funny. I did laugh. It, while reading this book and I said you have to read it a hundred percent go get it right now one of them already had it on hold uh, from the library she was waiting to get it so I'm urging you if you love rom-coms if you love fake dating if you love Star Wars if you love having a good laugh if you love some steamy scenes go get this book there's, ugh, there's just, it's just so good I don't even know what more to say besides that it's just so good and I read this one after I read Defy the Night and so I was coming off of two five stars and now I feel like I'm in a book slump because just how can you how can you follow both of those books just uh, okay rant over if you want to chat more about the love hypothesis or other rom-coms you can find me on Instagram Facebook and TikTok at the fun size reader see you next time